three, two, one. Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is James King Baskin from Outsource Kings, and I am here with Spencer. Spencer is one of our clients that we work with, and we handle an answering service for him and his clients. And, uh, you know, Spencer, why don't you start off with who, who are you and where you're from? Yeah, man. Uh, I'm Spencer Lund. Uh, we live in uh, Vancouver, Washington, which is uh, just in the Portland, Oregon metro area, uh, southeast uh, or southwest of Washington. Awesome, man. And what, what's your background in? Yeah, uh, so we currently own a marketing company. Um, we, we help uh, contractors rank on Google. <clears throat> um, that's our, our really our niche market. Uh, but I come come back. I come from uh, a background of door to door sales. Here about fifteen years ago, I I sold uh, frozen meat door to door, uh, <laughs> and then um, knew that wasn't a career. Um, just recently, uh, last month, sold my insurance agency uh, that I owned for the last decade, uh, so that I can focus on growing our um, marketing company. Um, and so uh, within the marketing company, or I guess within the insurance business, I learned um, some skills on, on ranking uh, people in Google and uh, how, to, how to play the Google game. And it's uh, obviously found my passion within uh, uh, my company, Plant Powered Marketing. Awesome, man. And, and so, yeah, yeah, you and Plant Powered Marketing, uh, why did they hire my company? Like, why did you hire us? Yeah, so one of our niches is... Um, is what, what's referred to in the industry as a rank and rent model. Um, and what that exactly is, is we will create our own digital assets. Um, easiest way to think about it is a, uh, a rental property, um, you know, not an actual house, but an actual digital property online uh, that we rank within Google. And then what we do is we go to the, that particular area, let's say it's Seattle, and we have a, a deck and fence site that's ranking then I find a deck and fence contractor in Seattle that's going to rent that, uh, rent those leads uh, essentially back for me. Um, and so uh, when you and I first started working, I had a ton of websites that were producing phone calls. Um, it was super overwhelming. I couldn't field all the calls. Um, and as you know, every phone call that's coming, coming in that's just getting wasted is just, I might as well just be flushing money down the toilet. Um, and so that's when I reached out to you guys, uh, because I've been wanting to work with you guys for years, but just didn't really have an opportunity or way because of <clears throat> what you guys had to previously offer. Um, and, uh, and, you know, you guys had never done anything like this before, which was great. Um, it was great for us to both kind of learn on how to, uh, how to feel those calls, um, Obviously, in the beginning, there was some learning curve, but now, like your team is just, I mean, if I look back at the amount of unrented sites that I had previously, and, and, and you guys, I'm talking about these sites rent for anywhere from 5000 or $500 to $2,000 a month. Um, and for me to get a renter um, on the hook is huge. So the process that we were using or that we've been using is you guys are fielding the calls like you're an employee for one of my companies, just basically being an order taker. So if somebody's calling up and saying, hey, I, I need a, a 20 by 20 deck built, how much is that going to cost? Or can I have somebody come out and bid? Your staff is just taking down the information. Okay, what's your name? Uh, what's a good phone number? Where are you guys located? And then they're passing it over to me. Now that gives me something tangible to go to a local contractor and say, hey, can you help me out? Can you go take care of Mrs. Smith that's looking for this brand new deck? And eventually we get these people to go, my God, like, how are you getting all these leads? These are great leads. What can I do to keep these leads coming in? Oh, you know, Mr. Contractor, well, we rent that site for, you know, $1,000 a month. Okay, dude, sign me up. That's great. So we've been able, I, I'd have to look back at the, the list of sites that we've had done, but dude, we're, we're landing clients now, like, like a few a week where we're getting, where you guys have been answering those calls. Um, and then we're getting them off of you guys and then transferring those to the contractor so that I can um, eventually uh, build more assets out. Um, the end of, at the end of all this, James, uh, <laughs> I guess the, the goal is never to be sitting on unrented properties because that doesn't seem uh, that doesn't, that's not a smart business decision. 
Um, but here we're getting we're getting dwindled down enough because your team is performing so well that we're going to be going through a big build here. Probably another 20 sites will be launching and then just rinse and repeat and starting this whole process over to where you guys are going to be taking the calls again and then just continually just just doing the same thing over and over. Yep. Yeah, man. When we first started, it was like four, <laughs> four to five hundred phone calls a month. It was like 20 plus sites. And spot on man we had never offered it before um when you came to me i was like i want to take this on i didn't even know how to price it full transparency i didn't even know how to price it and um total learning thing on our part and i think it was a good working relationship and still is of course and um you know i i, I even have calls next week based around this for other people and now we're even going to contractors as a standalone offer like hey we'll answer your phone calls and then obviously the gmb is included and obviously you're my guy for that if they want that and um and it's been a huge like thing that we've learned and kind of going off of that um just want to kind of double down a little bit on the stuff you're talking about and the answering service what does that meant to you exactly specifically well like i said like i i mean you you guys you saw the numbers I mean, it was that first month that we worked together, it was like 400 calls. Now, some of that, the, the hard thing too is like you and I discussed was yep. it's, it's difficult with the spam. Yep. It's difficult trying to figure out like when we rank a website, it's difficult to find out, okay, we, we, I can, I'm, I have all the data on the back end that's showing, okay, this site's getting 50 phone calls. But out of those 50, how much of it's really tangible, like legit customers that are needing help, you guys were able to kind of help, I guess, I don't want to say like filter it, but kind of like scrape through that garbage, that junk and be like, okay, now we have out of those 50, there's 35 actual legit people that are looking for help. And, and so dude, like it was so overwhelming. Um, and, and some of these sites that we build are, are super seasonal. So like deck and fence or landscaping, and depending on what part of the country they're in, it, it's a, you know, maybe a, a, a five month window that it's really cranking. So to get somebody landed in the hot part of the season, when it's cranking is, is huge. And it, it was, it's impossible for one person to take those phone calls. That's yeah. why I was like, who do I know that does that can take phone calls. And I immediately think of, of James King Baskin. Appreciate you saying that. Yeah. And I think we even started blocking some of those spammers too. We, we came up with a process where we're like, all right, block the future numbers. And, and I told my team, it's like a total whack-a-mole game. It's like you block five, five new ones pop up. And it's just like, like, God forbid a business owner has to take those calls. And that's like, like shit, dude. Yeah. The service calls, I don't know the, the ratio exactly, but yeah, you know, for every certain amount of, calls you're going to get a certain amount that are marketers and um kind of just in closing what are your final thoughts about you know working with outsource kings and our call answering service uh it's been great honestly uh i you know it's it was initially one of those things i thought was going to be kind of a I don't, I don't want to say a temporary relationship, but, but I had this thought of like, okay, if James could just help me, if this team could just help me get past this kind of like this huge mountain, but now I'm just seeing so much value in like, why wouldn't I just keep paying you guys on a monthly basis? We have a set amount of sites that you're going to be answering phone calls for, and then just kind of wrap this into like, like a, a you know, our, our standard operating procedures of how we build things. So, you know, we're going to build sites. You guys are going to answer all the phone calls always <clears throat> until I get to get a renter. And the thing is, that's that's great about this is that tomorrow, unfortunately, I could lose a renter at one of these sites. Now I'm back to square one and I don't have to go, oh, crap, I have to answer this call. No, I just go, hey, James, guess what, dude? Uh, so and so deck and fence or landscaping or whatever the niche is, they're no longer renting anymore. I need you guys to take the calls. So then it's, it's, it's something that's extremely scalable where previously I couldn't scale at all. Like, I mean, how is one person going to scale when 400 phone calls are coming in? So at the end of all that, man, it's been a lifesaver. Honestly, it's the, the amount of money that the return you guys on this, the ROI, I know everybody wants to know like the ROI, 
if I can pay a flat amount of money and then like truly rent these sites, we're talking about 500 to like $2,000 a month. And all that, the only difference of this is that having a professional team answer the phone calls is like actually what converted this. That's that I'll do that all day long because it's scalable and I can actually go, okay, right here. We, you know, I paid James X amount of money and this month we've rented, you know, sites that total $3,000 a month that's reoccurring. So, um, it's, it's definitely worth the money for sure. Appreciate hearing that, man. Yeah. And it's great working with you guys also on this pretty good working relationship, I would say. And yeah, we, we, we ironed out everything. We kind of just got this machine built and, you know, obviously we've talked strategic partnerships with other things moving forward and kind of, you know, you talked about it just for a split second and I appreciate your transparency. You, you thought like, Hey, it might just be like a temporary thing, or it might just be, you know, good for a little bit that person, or even more important, the person that's on the fence about working with us, or maybe just says like, I want to work for them only a month to see how it is. What would you say to that person? Um, I think, I, th I think for anybody, I, I don't know if it's ego, because, <laughs> because a little bit of it's ego. Well, I don't need James's team, you know, what do I need a call answering service for? Honestly, like you can't be the cook and the waiter and the bartender and everything. I know you guys are experts. Um, that's why I hired you. And so like anybody that's thinking about hiring the outsource Kings to answer calls or do outbound calls, definitely do it because at the end of the day, I think it pencils out no matter what you're doing, you guys are extremely professional. You're good at what you do. Um, you know, granted, I like I think probably anybody that's signing up for any of your guys' services is gonna have a, a smooth sailing experience now because especially with especially with this service, with the answering of the inbound calls for like you know, people that do the type of the same business as me. Um, the kinks have been worked out. <laughs> you, yep. you, you and I have worked out the kinks together, you and your team and I, you know, we worked out some of the issues. So like it's smooth sailing now. Um, I, I would, I would say like, even now, dude, it's like, if somebody jumped on board now, um, and said, Hey, I want you to answer, you know, my rank and rent phone calls, dude, it's going to be smooth sailing. Um, and you're going to see the return instantly. Like if, if you actually have good assets and good phone calls coming in and you're using it, like I am, um, you can basically just dwindle leads in front of people that you guys have already somewhat pre-qualified by just answering a phone and going, hey, okay, this is what you need. Great. Now I have something that's tangible. I didn't have to pick up the phone and deal with, you know, Sally that's looking for a deck um, and then try to go find uh, a contractor. So it saved me a ton of money, uh, a ton of time and put more money back in my pocket. Um, and at the end of it, I'm not a professional phone answer. <laughs> like <laughs> plus it's not what, something I want to do. So pick and choose whatever, whatever your, your career is, whatever type of business you run and you want, you're looking for somebody to answer your calls or do outbound calls. Like just realize that's not what you do as a, as a human. I'm pretty sure this, that, you know, it's, it's a, it's a specialty you guys and, and James uh, and his team is over outsource Kings have figured this all out. Awesome. I appreciate you saying that. And I appreciate working with you, brother. Thank you for so much for this for today. Yeah, not a problem, man. Take care.